let's look at the back of the system unit. So this is the cooling fan, this is the power socket, and these are all the ports. Let's just zoom in to get a better view of the ports. So these ports are used to connect to different computer devices, and we will talk about these ports one by one in the next slide. Let's just zoom in the picture to get a better view. So these two ports are for exporting digital audio. Usually we connect this SPDIF cable to a hi-fi system. Next, we have the USB port. Again, this is the symbol for USB. And let's say we connect this USB port to a thumb drive. And these two ports are for connecting the system unit to an external hard disk through a SATA cable. An SATA is a very common standard for connecting hard disk to a system unit. And this small letter E represents external. And at the bottom, we have a port with a logo with an icon showing a network of computers. So this is what we call an Ethernet port or a network port, and which is used to connect the system unit to a network cable. So this is how a computer is connected to a network or connected to the internet through, yeah, through a network cable and through this port. 